We're starting out incredibly warm this morning. Our average daytime high is 42 degrees. We're starting out at 50 in Springfield with a deck of cloud cover and southerly winds that have increased to be sustained at 18 miles per hour. Temperatures are about 20 to 25 degrees warmer now than they were this time yesterday. It's 51 in Ava, 52 in Branson, and 50 degrees in Springfield. The blanket of clouds is keeping us warm. So is the very strong southerly wind sustained near 20 to 25 miles per hour. We're finding gusts at 41 miles per hour in Joplin, 36 in Rowlett, and 31 in Fort Leonardwood. The gusty winds are coming courtesy of our big storm really starting to develop and deepen and strengthen just up to our north and west. This is one piece of it, and you can see it pulling all these wind gusts uh, from uh, Kansas and then back into Missouri. That's what's pulling in that very warm air mass for us this morning, where temperatures will be soaring towards 60 degrees as we had through the day today, despite the clouds and the increase in moisture. Not too much on satellite and radar right now, but we'll find showers continuing to break out through the day today as that air mass starts to moisten up because these southerly winds are taking moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and bringing it into the Ozarks. So, we set up a lot of moisture between today and tomorrow into the atmosphere. And what will happen is, is by Friday and Friday night, we're looking at a deluge of rain. A flash flood watch now in effect for the entire area from St. Louis down into Arkansas. This is for widespread two to four inches of rain with some totals up to six inches possible. As the front comes through, you get that extra push and some heavy rain could really drop out. Flash flooding is likely. Plus, we still have that severe threat. See, the yellow slight risk is just to the north of Springfield. And then we'll have that highest risk in southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. The risk mainly for damaging winds and isolated tornadoes going into Friday evening. So hour by hour, not much today outside of clouds, couple of showers, breezy winds, temperatures still warm. Shower coverage increases overnight tonight, and temperatures continue to stay very warm, only dropping into the 50s by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at highs in the 60s. That heavy rain starting to set up and move through. We get that front to organize probably after 2 o'clock. We'll have the front organized with a line of showers and storms. That's where you get that push of damaging winds and an isolated embedded tornado. Notice all of the reds. That's that very heavy rain coming down as well. The front continues to work its way eastward through the east. Evening, probably getting into the eastern Ozarks by midnight. This shouldn't really be too much of an overnight threat, but ending late for the eastern Ozarks. Then notice the temperatures are already nose diving into the 30s up to the north and west. That's where we get phase two, the wintry phase of this. Again, the rain forecast looks like a widespread two to four inches of rain, but as that front comes through, we could have some totals approach six inches. Now, with the dead of winter, with the vegetation really dry and not really there, this will lead to a flash flooding. Threat. Then we've got the wintry part as temperatures tumble Friday night into Saturday morning. We set up a light mix to snow, the heaviest snow up towards Kansas City, but we'll have some of that wintry weather as we had through Saturday with some light accumulations possible and blustery winds. We're looking at about one to two inches of snow from Springfield and areas to the north and west of the interstate. Could get some totals around three inches up in central Missouri. Not much snow as you go to the south of the interstate. So, again, a lot of Hazards to kind of keep in, t in track here. The heavy rain, two to four inches, up to six inches of rain could give you flash flooding, damaging winds, and an isolated tornado threat by Friday evening. Tumbling temperatures give way to a mix to snow on Saturday with wind chills in the teens, a glaze of ice possible, and about one to two inches of snow. 59 degrees today, warm and windy with those showers moving in. 53 overnight, continuing to stay very warm and windy. 61 tomorrow. Showers, thunderstorms, and that heavy rain setting up. You'll want to be weather aware on Friday. Then temperatures tumble on Saturday, giving way to a wintry threat. We could accumulate about an inch or two of snow. Finally, quiet weather on Sunday.